Shopify shipping tutorial, how to set up shipping in Shopify. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can set up shipping in Shopify. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and log in or sign up. Either is fine. And once you do that, you are good to go. Now over here, as you can see, I'm already logged in. And to set up shipping, there are a couple of things you need to do. Number one, you have to have a paid subscription. So as you can see, I already have my subscription right here. So you got to have that. And once you do that, your store will be activated and you can go ahead and log in. Now, in order to go ahead and set up shipping, what you want to do is you want to click on shipping and delivery right here. Now, over here, as you can see, you have a bunch of different options to choose from. But what you want to do is you want to set up all of them. So over here, as you can see, you have expected delivery dates right here. You have shop premise manual deliveries. If you have that on, you can go ahead and do that. Over here is the shipping. As you can see over here, you have to create a new profile if you want to. But yeah, and over here, let's go ahead and click on shop premise. And over here, you have your shop. So you have to install the application. This is, you know, the application for Shopify. And here we go. It is now installed. And here we can activate the Shopify payments, right? So again, you click on payments and you have to have Shopify payments activated. So right now we'll just go with manual and over here you have, we'll save that. And over here you have payment method, click on add payment method. And here you have to have aid in payments right here. Uh, so you have to go into the, you have to choose a payment provider. I've got to select the first one and then just simply click on install. It's going to install the application. There we go. We click on install and now it is installed. Now we just have to go ahead and just test our account. So keep that in mind. So now we're just going to have to go ahead and create an account over here so that we can go ahead and connect with it. But yeah, it's a long process. But once it's done, you should be good to go. Now, what I want you to do is come back into shipping and delivery. Here you will see you have two profiles. This is the main profiles of your shipping. So over here you have general shipping. Over here you can have domestic and international uh, shipping rates. And here you will have custom shipping rates. Over here you can add like a fragile products or special products that have special delivery rules. So you can add that over here. Let's go ahead and set up general shipping. So if you click over here, and here you will have your shipping rates right here. So you will see you have domestic over here, uh, international over here. Now, if you want to add specific countries, what you want to do is click on create zone and then click on add more countries and regions. It's going to open up here and now you can click on add market and here you can add any country you want. So let's go ahead and add US as well. America. Here we go. We'll go ahead and select the United States and click on add market. And now we have two more, uh, you know, options right here. So now if we go back, you can see we have options right here. Uh, now we want to set up shipping rates and markets. So if we click on any country, you can see you have language and domains, product and prices, duties and import and shipping, and you have payment as well. So you can set up payments for each of these countries and you should be good to go. So in USA, let's say uh, we want product and pricing to be, and to do that, you have to add some products as well, but I haven't added any products, but yeah, over here, you can add more countries and their own shipping rates. Now over here, you can add your own address right here, uh, shipping at origin. This is where you're going to be shipping. You're going to have to add your address over here. Then you have your custom uh, in international won't be checkout. So over here, you have your ad rate. Also over here, you have your international rate. So as you can see, the price is set over here, but you can change it to whatever you want. So if we click on these three dots, we can click on edit zone and we can edit them as well if you want to, but yeah. Once that's done, you should be good to go. Then your general profile is ready. And if you want to add, create a new profile, this is going to be like for special and, you know, private or fragile products. Then you click on it and add your products over here. And this, these shipping rules will only be applied to these specific products. Let's say you have specific products. You just want to ship to US, you, then you can create their own shipping rules, their own rules, their own location, their own shipping rates, all of that. So very simple that and then once you have done all of the the general ruling and all of that then you have your expected deliveries and date you can go ahead and click on uh, shop premise which we have installed right here we need to set that up as well but for that of course we have to set up shopify payment so keep that in mind and after we, you've set up expected deliveries and dates and you've got your payment set up and manual payment set up then you have local delivery now here is where you set up deliveries and orders so click on setup so right here 
you can see this is your location you gotta set up your location over here this location offers local delivery if you want to have local delivery you can just simply check this out so for example if this is a store if this is a store then people will come over here and if it provides local delivery then you can go ahead and click that button and you should be good to go and then over here you can use uh, postal codes or you can use set delivery radius you know it depends on you but once that's done you are good to go and down here you have a minimum order set up so you can just simply go ahead and choose that as well so let's say we want a minimum order of 500 and delivery price is going to be 200 so there's a total of 700 and we'll click on save there you go that's set up local delivery is now set up we can go ahead and click on save to save our changes go back and we are good to go so now we have local delivery now we have pickup in store so now we gotta set up our store as well so add in the location click on it and this location does offer it and you can go ahead and click on so over here click on location settings so maybe change the location over here you will find all of your locations so simply click on add location and you can add any location you want so you want specific locations you can go ahead and do that as well depends on you but once it's done you are good to go so that's how you change locations as well and once that's done you should be good to go so now you have pickup store as well so i think i forgot let me open it up there we go click on save done so now you have pickup store ready and then you have delivery customizations now over here you can add custom delivery so you can customize control on how you can deliver you know your products to buyers at checkouts so you can hide reorder and rename delivery options so if you click on it uh you have to install an application there are no apps installed for now so we'll leave it at that and then you have your sample box over here so default package is going to be over here you can add different package size as well now if you are worried about shipping labels well that is in order so if you have a product if you have an orders you can go ahead and add a shipping label from there you know if you go ahead and click on orders over here you will have an order let's say i want to add an order so let me go ahead and add a product just in case uh sorry about that i can't have that option right now but uh, you will have an option of you know a shipping label option and then you can print that and then you can attach it to your package and you can ship it out but yeah generally speaking very simple now if you come back over here you have pack slip template over here you can edit this template as well uh, but i wouldn't recommend that it depends on you if you know what you're doing you can go ahead and do that then you have an order fulfillment it's as an email to for a customer fulfillment service so you just simply add a name and then email and, and then whenever someone makes a purchase they will be given a email so very simple this is how you do it this is how you set up shipping and delivery of course there are a lot of stuff that i didn't cover but you know uh, if i did it would be a longer video but for now i think this is good this is how you can add and change shipping addresses so thank you guys for watching and until next time take care and goodbye